Okay, so um, I have uh, organized together um, all of the swatches, right, for all of the hue, all of our 12 hues for our color wheel um, that, you know, we mixed, um, that you saw me mix on the videos. So one of the things that I think is, you know, is, is pretty important to note, there's a really pretty good progression right? Um, think about how you would, uh, like the pacing, right? Of moving from one hue to the next, to the next, to the next. It's pretty gradual for the most part. You don't feel, it's not choppy. You don't feel like you're making a big jump one place and then a small jump in another. It feels very evenly paced, evenly spaced. Um, another really important thing is that if we look um, all the way to the left, Right, we see our yellow as really very light. That's always going to be the lightest of all of the hue families. And then um, the way the color wheel works and the way our hues work is the value, right? The level of lightness or darkness, or if you want to think about the grayscale step that matches that hue, that gets darker and darker and darker and darker gradually, a little bit, you know, at a time. Some of those steps are a little bigger than others, depending on where you are, but that's gradually darkening until you get to the darkest of all hues. Sorry, here, which would be, can, oh, you can't see my hand here, can you? Um, there, there we go. The darkest of all hues, which is right here, which is, which is violet, okay? So we're gradually getting a little bit darker, a little bit darker, a little bit darker, a little bit darker, a little bit darker until we reach that just naturally the darkest of all hues, which is violet, even though it doesn't have any black in it at all, okay? Then we gradually, once we hit violet, we then gradually start to go up in value, a step, a little bit, a little bit at a time. So here, um, our blue violet's a little bit lighter in value and it's sitting nice and evenly in between violet and blue. Um, the blue is looking, a, a blue I always have some trouble with because that's such a high chroma, right? <laughs> that it looks a little bit lighter somehow, but I think than my blue green, but I think it's actually a little darker. So I get confused with these two. Um, we could probably go a tiny bit less white with our blue, but, but it's pretty good. Um, Gradually then we're getting a little bit lighter and we're getting greener, right, as we go here, finally up to our yellow green. And then that would, you know, that's not, uh, that's still a few, quite a few steps away in value from our, our you know, a number of steps, a couple steps away in value from that really, really light yellow, okay? So you should have this nice kind of evenly paced flow, um, you know, between your steps. Um, and my, you know, it's really important that you look at these all together, really butted right up against each other like this to, in order to assess, okay, do I need to go back and make adjustments to any of my steps or more than one? You know, if I were going to make any adjustments, I'd probably go back to this blue and just add a little less white to it. Um, and you know, but making sure it's still lighter than my blue violet and maybe a little more obviously darker than my, my blue green. Okay. All right. Um, my hope, you know, this is not an easy process. If you are doing this correctly, if you're also doing this correctly, you're probably going to need to redo, 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 right? This can be a challenge for me, right? This is probably, you know, I mean, I've, I've, I've made this. And you know, quite a number of times, right? For for past presentations and for students um, to refer to, and you know, every time I make little adjustments um, to try to kind of improve uh, the you know my my getting trying to get that midpoint hue, and then also trying to get the value level of all of these hues correct. All right. Um. Good luck and um you know, enjoy.